Police do not believe the shooting was a random act of violence. The suspect and victim likely knew each other. Meantime, neighbors tell us the situation behind these homes had been a recipe for violence for several months. Just before 11 o'clock, police were called to a home here on Grant Avenue and found one man shot to death near the backyard. Preliminary information shows that this was a disturbance between two adult males. Minutes later, a few blocks away on Emerson, police took one person into custody, but added there were two incidents being investigated in the neighborhood, and it's not clear if the arrest is connected to the shooting. Neighbors claim a large group of homeless people had recently begun to live in the garage behind the home where the shooting took place. I had warned everybody around here, be careful going up and down that alley. Michelle has lived in the neighborhood for more than 20 years and insists for several months before the killing, there had been drug dealing and arguments outside her neighbor's home. There's been many through the last couple months. Usually they're late at night. You can hear them hollering, screaming, but I was just looking for something terrible to happen. And that's, that's sad to say. The shooting on Grant marked the 167th homicide of the year, just five shy of the total for all of last year. For their part, police maintain the public plays a critical role in preventing crime. If they are feeling unsafe, if they see anything that is out of place, or if they're seeing disturbances, we are asking them to contact us immediately. Don't wait till incidents escalate. We would like to get there before things get to a point of someone's life being taken. As always, anyone with information on this case can contact Crime Stoppers, and any citizens that need immediate help can call 911. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News.